Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. And if you guys want to take part in it, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. Uh, we have, we have some things going on here. We just made some food and all of a sudden the house is on fire. The house is literally on fire. Uh, so I don't know what happened to be honest because I was just playing through um, I'm wondering if this is part, it I has to be part, yes, it has to be part of the randomizer mod because, excuse me, what? <laughs> what is going on? Also, um, minus the fire thing going on, we have Brock and, you know, his new, his new lady giving birth to a baby boy named Brant. So that happened. A fire has started on her a lot. I am very aware of that and... She's, she's on, she's on fire. So I'm going to have to have her, I assume, put self out here and I need everybody else to get the hell out of this house because I don't know what is going on or what happened here. So do you have the baby? Where is, where's the baby at in this? Is it, oh, right here. Oh, okay. Right in the middle of the fire. So this is a great way to start this out, but can we pick up? I can't even see you. Can, can we not pick her up? I guess we cannot pick her up. Can everybody just like get out of the house here and hopefully maybe you can Fire go department here? department shows up, but I'm beginning to wonder if it's not. So I think she's gonna have to put out the fire uh, herself here. So I'm not seeing anybody coming. Girl, are you seriously? Oh, you're gonna ice blast. You ice blasted the fire. Okay, that's fine. I mean, as long as things are getting taken care of, uh, but this is a, a total disaster. A total di Okay, Celeste, if you don't get, get out of the way. All right, there we go. We need to have a fireman over here taking care of the situation. I don't even know. Oh my god, we're about to lose everything. She's like, let me just ice blast this all. Girl. Girl. Get out of the house. Go here. Get out of the house. Why can't y'all just get out of the house? Poppy, I was having you help, but you know what, everybody? Yeah, this is too much. is pretty much destroyed. Um, I don't know what happened. Truly do not. I mean, it cannot be the food. It could not possibly be the food. It just randomly burst into flames. And I have never been so damn confused in my life. So we're getting 228 simoleons for all of the disastrous mess that we have here. Uh, but we did, you know, during our ice blast of the fire, Sage's magic grows. She can pick on enemies, friends, or random strangers by causing embarrassing distress in public. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Sage can now wreak havoc on others with the hunger, bladder, and hygiene curse. Well, I had a plan on hopefully uh, yeah, be careful. Be careful. I don't even know what the hell happened. Um, I had planned on originally maybe moving in this part because I'm hoping that Poppy is going to give birth. I'm hoping so. Um, and since I am starting a new Let's Play for Spooky Time, and I'm going to be living in Midnight Hollow, I think I want to move these guys to Halloween Hideaway. I know everybody voted for Midnight Hollow, but I really think I want to move them to Halloween Hideaway since I will have someone in Midnight Hollow already. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, but that's kind of kind of what I think I want to do. Let's take care of some needs here and, and try to get our life together because I don't even know what... <laughs> happened here. Whose dog is this? You want to be my dog? You're a stray dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want you to be my dog. <gasps> hurry. Hurry. No, no. I need... No, please stay here. Pl where are you going? Please stay here. I really want you to be my dog. You look so sad. Can you be my dog? Can, can you so please wait? the stray dog, we apparently cannot... Um, where did you... Where did you... Um... Uh... <laughs> Um, where, where, what is happening? Did the dog go in? Excuse me? Who are you? Are you in the, oh my god, we've got, oh, look at your hair, it looks so funny. What is happening? What, where did the, your, I see your little feet. 
I see your little feet. What are you doing inside of the ice cream truck? I am telling you right now, I'm gonna try to take, come here, you you know what, you're all just, you're all just irritating me. I want to keep you all, but you're apparently just completely unimpressed. Looks like Stray Dog is not hungry, okay? It looks like somebody, I guess, is feeding this dog. Um, uh, invite him inside, invite him inside. You too, can you all just come inside? I would love for you to be a part of my household. This dog does not trust us and the other one just really doesn't care about anything at all. Um, but I'm still trying to make them part of my household for whatever reason. Uh, but let's see, what is going on? Where are you going? Go here? Actually, why don't you take care of your needs? I am just basically waiting around for her, like I said, to have the baby. And that's kind of what the plan was, was just to kind of play off camera. Um, but I'm going to have the girls kind of clean up the house because they both have been skipping school and we're just going to have to have them, you know, not do that. And what you can't get, you can't get to it because the table's in the way. Are you serious? I don't know serious? what is happening, but now, <laughs> now there's a stray cat. What is, ha is this like my actual real life? These animals just showing up? And, okay, I think that, where are they all coming from? I mean, seriously, where they all keep coming from this way. Uh, but apparently we have two stray dogs and a stray cat, and I'm, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. I am trying to figure out if this cat is going to attack my child, because what? What even? Um, let's go ahead and talk to this cat and see if any more pets just magically appear because I have never been There's so There's been so much chaos in this part and this family has just been completely insane. Uh, one of the dogs is still here. I don't know if the cat is still here. It might be, no freaking idea. Uh, I guess they're gonna go a woohoo again. Please tell me it's just a regular woohoo because I don't have time for all all of the children you guys just keep wanting to pop out apparently. Hold the phone because we are not woohooing because the baby is coming. So now we're gonna have to take Poppy to the hospital. Girl, yeah, stop what you're doing because you're not gonna woohoo right now. You're you just woohooed the baby right out of her, all right? Apparently, Let's go. Gerald Goth is extremely stressed out um, that we're about to have a baby. Uh, you know what? Is this another oh stray? Oh my goodness, you guys, we had a baby boy. I am so excited. So far, he is our only boy. I went ahead and chose the name Lark that Lori left us. I like that name. We're probably gonna have a billion more babies the way that these two woohoo. I'm just saying. Uh, but for now, we got little Lark here. Let's randomize and see what we get. I don't want him to be, you know, it loves the cold and discipline. That's fine. We'll go with that. Thank goodness it is only one uh, poppy made enough. Uh, I don't know, something with the skill journal. But we have a little baby boy. He's gonna be so cute, oh my goodness. I'm so dang excited for the two of them. Now, if you guys go home and woohoo after this, I, I will lose you my guys, mind. You guys, I'm not even kidding you. She seriously is gonna go woohoo with her. Like, are you serious? I don't know why it says just woohoo for her. Um, but I told you guys, if they did this, I am going to lose my mind. I really am. Now I have to work on moving us to Halloween Hideaway, which is the next thing I want to do. But I need to get these Sims together and get them some sleep and get their needs up because, wow, what a wild ride this has been. So it is pretty early in the morning and everybody's kind of in a crappy mood. We again got publicly disgraced, which I need to get rid of her celebrity status. She doesn't want it. I don't think she would be interested in this anymore. But on that note, I am going to move us to Halloween Hideaway and I am going to, I originally was going to make it so we can kind of see what is going on in Brock's life. But I think for the sake of Sage's mental health and for this Let's Play and everything else that has kind of happened, I think she's been through enough trauma that right now I'm going to move them just the uh, good old fashioned moving way and we're not going to keep any relationships. So that being said, we will not see Brock for a while. That's not to say at some point or another, we will, you know, he won't just appear again. Uh, but for now, when we move, I kind of want them to have their little happy life. But again, in the future, if it kind of fits with the let's play, if that's kind of how things are going, we can always bring him back in and add a little spice here and there and see what is going on with his life. Like maybe he found out where she moved to, so he moved there. 
we'll kind of we'll kind of get there uh, when we get there, I guess. But I'm gonna move them right now to Halloween Hideaway. So I will meet you guys in Halloween Hideaway in our new home. I will take a look with you guys what we can afford, which is not gonna be a whole lot, but. I'll meet you guys in Halloween Hideaway. I'm so excited. All right, guys, we are in Halloween Hideaway and I'm very, very excited. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is the space in these homes. Like, we will not be able to afford the bigger homes from the looks of it. I still want to live here. Maybe we won't live here forever, but I still want to I want to experience Halloween Hideaway. Uh, this one is... See, this one has a lot of... a lot more space base. I would almost give this room to the kids and then have this just be Poppy and Sage's room, but we can't afford this one, unfortunately. I mean, we can purchase it unfurnished and kind of get there as, as it happens. Um, let me see. See, this one we can't purchase either. Let's see, how many rooms is this? Two bedrooms, three bathrooms. Uh, the trick-or-treat trailer. I love the trick-or-treat trailer, but it is not going to fit our family. Uh, gloomy grave cider. Let's see how... Oh, it's two bedrooms and one bathroom. But let's see how big the bedrooms are, because we could possibly make it work if the rooms are big enough, but otherwise we might have to go into the expensive one. I mean, we could possibly... Maybe, maybe make it work, but I'm we not We have the so Fixer Upper. We have the Morbid Manor. Let me see. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Let's see how big the bedrooms are. Like I said, I really do want to live in this world. I probably will fill this world with maybe some of my Sims and just do like a story progression type of thing. Um, but let me see here. This one could possibly... Uh, the rooms still are not big enough for the amount of children that we have. So that might not, that might not work either. Um, the candy corn cottage, we cannot get furnished. Uh, we have more money than I had expected because I sold the car and I guess our house was worth a little bit more. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm just going to hope that we can afford something. Uh, see, I love this home. This home is so dang cute. The candy corn home is so dang cute. I mean, I don't know if I could close this off and make that a room or we could put the two. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to make, make this work how I want it to, because there just isn't the space in the homes that we can afford. Uh, we obviously have the dollhouse here, but we can't live in this one because, unfortunately, I would love to. But unfortunately, the, you know, it's a, like I said, it's the dollhouse. So the back of the home, it's like an actual dollhouse, but they'll be freezing and all of that stuff. So I don't think we can realistically live in to this home as much as I would love to. Uh, but I don't know. I keep looking at this one and this one is like the least spooky home out of all of them on the inside. I mean, I love the outside, you know, but on the inside, it's like pretty, pretty normal. But I feel like the the space could work a little bit better. I mean, the kids would literally all have to have one entire room or I see we can't even make this. Well, we might be able to make that work. We might be able to make that work here as a room instead of the office area. So maybe I will get this unfurnished and I don't know how we're going to be able to afford anything but you know we're just gonna we're gonna go for it uh I don't typically do this so let's go on a damn adventure and just purchase right, so this we home. are all moved in and I feel like I need to wrap this part up right here because there's a lot that I need to do I need to get this town ready for us I need some sims to move in I need to make over some sims turn on story progression. So I'm hoping some Sims will move in and they will be an occult and we can kind of get some witches and wizards and things of that sort. In this town, I also am going to try to make this home our own. We have 17,000 simoleons. We're not going to be able to do a lot. It's going to be a slow process, but this is, this is their life now. You know, they're starting over and they're happy to just all be a family together. So I am going to work off camera on getting some people moved in, kind of trying to 
get this house, you know, together. Obviously, like I said, we have like nothing, but it's everything to us. I could even get rid of this bathroom and make this a bedroom, which is what I might do because we have the bathroom upstairs and we can struggle with just one bathroom for now. Oh no, we have two bathrooms. I am definitely, definitely, definitely making this all one big room so that we have three three bedrooms. So that is the plan. I'm going to have to slowly work on everything, obviously. Uh, but you know, we're, we're, we're here. We're in Halloween town and I, Halloween town, Halloween hideaway. Uh, and I just, I cannot wait to see what happens with this family. You know, it's, it's a new beginning for us and it's, I feel like it's going to be absolutely incredible, but I really want to get some Sim families in this town. I'm going to try to create some families with teens and things. So it might be a little bit longer since I post the next episode because I want to really work on this town, getting Sims in the town and having families and friends and, you know, just, you know, wizards and witches and ghosts and the whole thing. I might even grab some of them from Midnight Hollow and plop them down in here. Uh, but we'll see kind of what happens. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part. It was very chaotic. The last part, I believe, was also very chaotic. So I mean, it's just, it's just one of my families. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, all of the fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.